Yagami. Yagami. Anything to report. Mm-hmm. The photo of your client going into the hotel with that man? It was fabricated. Mm-hmm. What? You. <laughs> I won't take these basically accusations lying down. Do you have any proof? Ugh. No. The PC. It was on got destroyed. Someone went to some pretty extreme measure to eliminate it. <sighs> hmm. Then this isn't even worth discussing. Did you bring this photo here in evidence of a trial because you were afraid it could have been proven false? Huh, please. Listen to yourself. Paired with your client's hazy memory, this photo is both valid and deceive and decisive. <laughs> and no judge in the right mind would take your client's side with photos evidence like this in my hands. <gasps> so, what will it be? Pay for the damage as well, as let this photo drag you through the mud in court. Please, you don't need to consider this carefully. There's no way I can win, right? If I go, if I'm going to get hit with damage and become a tabloid livestock, I'd rather just sign the paperwork now. Ma'am, let's not be rash. We should at least discuss your option first. Enough, Gende. I've had enough. In the end, you couldn't help me. Huh. I already have made up my mind. Huh. And now my client will have full custody like... Looks like I win, Gende. Huh. I finally beat you. Ugh. Put whatever you want on the stupid paper. I'm going to move out on my own. You, you two can't fight. You two can fight all you want. What? Kareen, you you do not you do no such thing. Don't you want to live with your father? Yagami. You think you even consider the daughter feeling this? Yagami? Huh? If she runs out with the kid, what I'm saying is, do you think they even discuss her wish before hiring a lawyer? Hmm. Well, she's old enough for her opinion to matter. Actually, I think I know how she feels. Say what? Really? After busted in, I didn't have any time to bring this up. Here's your proof. But evidence that I think points out what Korean wants. The ripped up tickets. What is this, Yagami? Kareem wanted her father to have this, but she ended up tearing it up instead. Say what? What? Wait, was she trying to give this to him? Yep. Yep. And I would bet this was a, rep a representation of how she really feels. Mm -hmm tickets to the circus three of them huh the number of significance i think <laughs> i see thanks i think there may be an amicable solution to this after all hey is something you want to say to your parents i don't know some new tickets I understand you were trying to give your father, your father. Oh, there are three tickets. How the hell did he just have manly ran? Magically, just have three circus tickets in the back pocket. Whatever. What are you getting at? I think I see. Yeah, I want the three of us to go on a circus again. Again? Don't you remember the last time we went? You guys were so mean to each other before, but after we got back from the circus, you were fine. You were smiling and laughing. I thought maybe if we went to circus again together, it might work the same way. If that was the case, why did you why did you tear the tickets? That's you're holding back, aren't you? I'm. Hey. They're the only parent you ever have. If you have something important to say, don't swallow it. Get it off your chest, young lady. Say what you're feeling. How I really feel? Yeah. Yes. There is no time for. There's no time like the present. If you don't, you come to regret it eventually. <laughs> Enough of this. We passed the point of reconciliation, I say. You're right, mister. I have been holding something in. But what's the point? Even if I told you guys, you wouldn't listen because you just want to be a divorce. No, we listen. I don't want to live by myself. I want three of us to live together. What's so hard about that? I don't want us to be apart. Karen. Know how your daughter feels? Are you really past up the point of reconciliation? Have the two of you ever even discussed the matter since 
Laugh. I imagine you haven't. It's true. We haven't. Well, my suggest you start here, and if you still want to file for a divorce, I'll be here. We do need to consider our daughter in this. We've been rash. Yeah. As a parent, we owe her all that to her. That's it. Then looked like I dismissed. Hold on. Then you can't just abandon the fight. I won't accept that. If there's no case, you don't you don't get paid either, you know? Sounds like you still don't get it. None. Get what? Our job is to get the best result possible for our clients. We stand by them as they make life changing decisions. If you making if you're making choice based on your personal pocketbook or your pride, why do you deserve clients? Uh -huh. What are you getting at? Listen, at the end of the day, if it would benefit the client, it's okay to lose the trial. Okay to lose. In what world? If winning the trial is all you concerned about, you never be more than a mediocre lawyer at best. Fuck this. I'm not going to stand here and let you lecture me. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. I won't accept this. Good grief. You still don't get it. Jin, is it divorce your best interest? She's already proven that she's latched into the first man she finds. But her lawyer is saying that the guy was set up. Hardly. Those are basic accusations and there's no evidence to prove it. And your wife simply doesn't remember. You're going to accept that? Well, <clears throat> no one in their right mind could. Right? Your feeling about your wife haven't ch really changed. Besides, do you really expect the two of you could get along just fine after this hard hardly? You're probably right, but still. Damn. He's stooping to preying on this insecurity. He's losing confidence in his decision. Hmm. These pictures are as real as earth is round. You can't allow these people to climb your path forward. Ushi. Excuse me, is there Yagami Sensei here? Ah, there you are. Finally found you, Yagami. Mm hmm? Hmm? The receptionist from the Love Hotel, what are you doing here? Well, I look up your office and I didn't find you there. Then this Yak Yakuza looking fella told me I might find you here and here you are. Excuse me. That's great and all, but we're kind of in the middle of something here. Well, I have an off offer for you. Didn't you say you want to buy that data? I did, but wasn't the PC short? You said yourself, there was no other copies. Right. And I say that again, if that blonde asshole was here to threaten me. But the truth is, I did make copies. I figured there might be a profit in it. He <laughs> he. Huh? What? Must be pretty valuable, huh? Oh geez, I buy. Uh. Well, fuck it, buy it. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> a pleasure doing business. Gende, I need to borrow your computer. And cut me a check for the 100k as a business expense, please. Say what? Whatever it is, whatever it is this about better be worth it, Yagami. Mm -hmm. Do it. Hope this guy better not freaking. This guy here. There we go. Perfect. Yagami. Can feel some? Stiff me right here. This guy, this guy, very nice stiffy. You know what's this? You work very hard to make sure no one's ever saw it. C can it be? Check this out. Afraid saw evidence that you fabricated the photo? This security footage from the Love Hotel. Nandato. Impossible. Now I, now I became just Japanese. Nandato. Yagami. Yagami. I think you owe us the explanation. As you can see in this photo, this is the same time, same time stamp as this video, but notice anything different about the woman. It's obviously impossible that he entered the hotel at the same time with two different women. Therefore, it's bogus. It's been doctored. Say what? You stopped the forgery. You finally dug yourself into a hole. Uh, no, it. What do you think would happen if this comes to light of court? Why you could lose your license to practice? No, it's if you still want to go to trial, I'm willing. But 
It's your call. <laughs> Sounds to me like we start on a custody battle ended on a male practice trial. Damn it, the both of you. Super Saiyan. Ah. He left in a hurry. <sighs> Stupid kid. And he's so immature still. Nah. Dad, Mom, we don't need this anymore, right? Oh, you're right. Rip it up. Yagami. Thanks. You really saved me this time. Nah. It was quite an honor seeing you be the kind of lord I always knew you were. <laughs> <laughs> so unlike you get it. You know if you ever if you want to hear the badge again, I think we could make it work. You do some impressive work out there today. <laughs> <laughs> I did what I could do as a detective. In fact, I learned something today. I don't have to, to I don't have what it takes to be a lawyer like you. Can this sense that I'll pass. <sighs> Damn. Damn, what is it about all my student that they become mediocre lawyer? Maybe it's me. Whoa. Mediocre. You lumping me into that? Oh, this Shintani. I'll let me back. Long enough. <laughs> Look Look to me like we're getting pretty rough, so I keep quiet. We want to spoil the moment. Well, is it good? Is well, it's good timing. All the all the same. Didn't you need Shintani for something, Yagami? Yes. You have a sec, Shintani Sensei. Huh? Oh, finally. There's something I need to talk to you about. Huh. Perfect timing. I got a few words for you myself. Huh? Come on. Okay. What do you gotta say? Sounds like Hammer is not too happy with you. Huh? He says to quit digging around. We won the case, it's done. And I gotta say, I agree with him. Or was my victory not good enough for you? Oh, your victory and yours alone, huh? <laughs> you heard me. I was the lawyer, my victory. And thanks to that, work's been just flooding in. It's over, Yagami, let it die. Your work might be over, but the murderer is still out there. This mole you're dying to catch? Well, fuck right off! Your little detective game has done enough damage! Why don't you just leave this alone, huh? Hmm. Hamura knows who the murderer is. He hid it from us the whole trial. And that innocent verdict made fools of us all. Maybe you're okay with that, but I'm not about to give this up. Ha! <laughs> You talk big, but you're just a mouse, and Hamura's a hungry fucking cat. Funny, he's the one in hiding. The Kyore are gunning for him. That's what the shooting was about. See, Hamura knows he's a target, and I believe he's not the only one who should be worried about himself. Do you get the picture? Huh? Keep your eyes open. I'm telling you this as a friend. Otherwise, you do you. I'm gonna do the right thing. Don't talk down to me! <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. What do you mean? He knows something. You know something. Oh. I can see it in your eyes. Hamura trusts you. Now tell me the damn truth. What about stopping the mole? You willing to take responsibility for another murder? Don't talk like I owe you. Attorney client privilege. Not like you'd remember it. Go back to school. Shintani! Well, that's no good. 
I thought you said that you respected that guy, Yagami. Well, I did. Till he just F me up. Try to warn Shintani. Well, kind of. Shintani, he's. Shintani knows something. He knows something. Hello? Yo, it's me. I'm out in front of the Matsugane office. Looking into the shooting? Yep. The place is absolutely swarming with cops. Kuroiwa's running the investigation. Kuroiwa? Kuroiwa? You mean Ayabe's boss? That's him. Speaking of, Ayabe's here too. Makes a convincing cop when he tries. <laughs> I was actually thinking I'd invite him over to tender. Try and get my hands on that juicy police info, you know? <laughs> you mind coming along? Not at all. See you over there. Right here. Ayabe. You must be making a killing with the state this city's in. Ain't that right, Ayabe? And it's all thanks to you. Do you know anything about the Matsugane shooting last night? Not too much, no. But hey, I thought you got Higashi for all your Matsugane needs now. Word travels fast. Who told you that? Kaito. Just now. Huh? You forget how to keep a secret, Kaito-san? Or are you trying to get your buddy killed? Higashi's screwed if Hamura finds out he's been helping us. Look, man. There's no point keeping stuff from Ayabe. Better to just tell him up front than have him find out somewhere else. What can I say? I'm a professional. Sure. Professional snitch. <laughs> if the shoe fits. But sorry. I really don't have much for you today. Say what? You telling me I bought you a drink for nothing? <laughs> what? Are times too tough to buy around? Here. Let me at least repay you for the booze. Go on. Huh. Did you know Hamura's in hiding? He's been out of the office ever since last night. Not yes. even the cops can find the guy. We know. Yeah, Higashi told us as much, actually. You charging us for this old news? I'm starting to wonder here. Okay, okay, fine. You want answers? Go ahead and ask. Everything's on the house for tonight. I'd rather talk business than sit here in silence anyway. Sounds good to me. Let me think. Negative. Why did the Corey clan come up to Komochu? How has Komochu been lately? What happened to the Masaka family right now? How if it's we call a dirty cop? Uh, let's go. What happened to this one? Let's go this. How are things in the Matsugane family? Well, you already know about the shooting. Their hands are tied while the cops are running the show. So, yeah. They've been pretty quiet. Okay, so we did that. Now next thing is, why did Kane come with... Well, I don't know why. How did Komochu been? Everything should be besides the... Uh... Why are the Kyore and Kamurocho to begin with? What's a Kansai group doing this far from home? Because they wanted turf in Tokyo. Duh. Even if it meant war with the Tojo? They couldn't have the numbers for that. True. Compared to the Tojo's 25,000, Kyore have a meager thousand at most. Plus, Kamurocho is not exactly their home turf. And by that logic, they don't stand a chance. And yet they've been here almost two years now. Crazy when you think about it. Even the cops put money on the Tojo clan, crushing them into dust. So, what's the holdup then? The Kyore has the backing of the Kajihiro group. In other words, a lot of fucking money. Kajihira, isn't he a construction bigwig? Yep, and one of his subsidiaries is the perfect Kyore cover. I suppose you'd know it better as KJ Art. Yeah, we're familiar. Makes sense they never made it in the round to Kurosho. What does Kajihira have to do with the Kyore? Why is he funding Yakuza? Probably so he can expand east out of Kansai. The real money is out here anyway. From what I hear, he's got some big redevelopment plans for Tokyo. What kind of plans are we talking? Not a clue. 
But if they're coming from Kansai to do it, shit's got to be important. And there's always dirty work with those kind of jobs, you know? Like what? Evictions, land sharks, laying the political groundwork. The Kyore is handling all that shit for Kajihira. At least, that's the word on the street. Yeah, thanks. These rumors of yours are gonna do us a ton of good. Well, what I know for sure is that the Kajihira CEO's been up in Tokyo a lot lately. Schmoozing with politicians, government officials, even Kazumi, the head of the Ministry of Health. Why would a construction guy be talking to someone from the Health Ministry? What's the connection? Beats me. Point is, the Kyore aren't here just for Yakuza shit. It's way more complicated than that. Last one is this one. How's Kamurocho seem to you lately? Tense. And that shooting only made things worse. Nobody knows when the next fight will break out, or where a stray bullet might end up. Right. And our killer's only gone for Yakuza so far, but he could target anyone next. Gunfights? A murderer on the loose? This city's a mess. <laughs> you got that right. By the way, Amura might have walked, but the cops are still pretty fixated on this mole case. Even the public's wondering who will be next. Huh. Yes, it we're good. All right, I gotta go. Already? You're a busy boy. Yeah. Kaito-san. Huh? Yagami and Kaito. Yes. What an honor. Tokyo Police. The name's Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa. Okay. Kuroiwa. That's uh, the I, one who I almost mean. put Hamura behind bars before you two pulled him out of my grasp. <laughs> wow. So what? <laughs> I've become a department punchline now. I'll be boss, right? I have you to think. Mm, you're very welcome. And I see you're here too, Ayabe. <laughs> oh, Kuroiwa-san. Nice nights. It's great to see you. Yeah. I cut out of work to grab a few drinks. You doing the same, Ayabe? Nah. <laughs> Old me? I don't play hooky. Well, we should be on our way. Hey. Let me ask before you go. The Okubo case. You let that murderer get off scot-free. After which he burned his poor girlfriend to death. And yet, here we are with another murderer roaming the streets of this city. I wonder who the next victim will be. You consider that, Yagami-sensei. Everybody likes to bring that up. Everybody brings that up. Tender bar. Ten. Yeah, I'm used to dealing with assholes like that. What was Kuroiwa doing there anyway? I bet he knows about Ayabi's little side gig. Probably came to keep him from chirping too much. Right. Or maybe he wanted to keep an eye on us. Hope not. I don't need that guy breathing down our necks. <laughs> Anyway, you want to head home? Not yet. Something's bugging me about the Kyore clan. What do you mean? Until today, I just thought they were here scouting out some new turf in Kamurocho. But it turns out they've got a construction conglomerate behind them, and they're involved in redevelopment too. So you want to figure out who the real Kyore is? Not a bad idea. But how are we going to investigate? You don't remember? We have a friend on the inside. <laughs> you mean Morase? Oh yeah. Come on, let's head to KJR. I forgot who's Morase again. Let's roll.